Hey everybody, it's me, Jimmy V, coming at you here from Orlando, Florida at the dummyblog.com studios. And today I have a killer ventriloquist figure inside this box that we're going to unbox together. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait for you to see it. Now this box came to me from Austin Phillips. Now this isn't actually one of Austin's creations. I love his work. This is actually a figure that was made by, not gonna tell you, not gonna tell you yet. I'm actually gonna have a little trivia quiz, see if you might be able to figure it out uh, at some point during the unboxing. But he, uh, Austin had the figure, he was doing some uh, refurb work to it and uh, let me know about it and I had to grab it and nab it up uh, because there's a backstory here that I can't wait to share with you. Now, what I love about artistic figure makers is this. This is the return or the mailing address label, and it's hand-drawn. You know, I, that's just so cool to see. And that is my address, so if anyone wants to send any puppets my way, feel free to send your puppets here to the dummyblog.com studio. They will have a wonderful home uh, here with all the m bunch of their friends. Well, I have cut the box, as you can tell, uh, all open already, but I have not taking the figure out of the box yet, still in the bubble wrap, so that we can do it together. But I did want to show you that flap. So what do you say? Why don't we um, dig in here? Now, I've actually been holding on to this puppet in this box for pra over a month now because I've been trying to shoot a video of the opening of this. This is the only problem with these unboxing videos. You have to have... Uh, the time to shoot them and if you don't I don't want to open the box and then not shoot the video So I've been holding on to this and have not shot this video for over 30 days and it's like Christmas morning all over again with this puppet Let's see what this is Mmm, we're gonna get to that in just a second Okay, let's dig in here. We've got of course peanuts lots and lots of peanuts, but um, let me get this First off, we have a body, and we can unwrap this body here. We've got, I did pull these things up to the top of the box so the peanuts wouldn't get everywhere. You can see we have a nice figure body. Now, interesting thing, oh, let me get some of these peanuts out of here. Interesting thing about this body is it is all wood this hands you can see the hands here they have a dark uh, paint to them not a lot of detail on these hands these hands are pretty uh, flat and straight look uh, very old school in design and style and um, there is not a whole lot to say about this Body. It is well constructed. It's got some wire uh, in the front here covered by some canvas and It's very durable well made Feels good. There is um something interesting about this body is this check this out You see how far this bottom seat comes off the back here that actually is good for grabbing the puppet and makes it really sturdy uh, base when it's sitting on a stand so that is the body I'll lay the body down right here sit it down right there we'll bring it back out in just a second now on to the favorite part the head now as I said there's gonna be a little quiz here because I'm gonna undo the head stick bubble wrap here undo there we go and I'm going to show you the head stick. And who can tell me the figure maker by looking at this head stick? Anybody? Anybody? The maker is Chuck Jackson. Chuck Jackson figure right here. Now, this figure belonged to someone that was very influential in me becoming 
the vin a ventriloquist and the ventriloquist that I am today. And I will show you a picture of who that is. This is a Laugh Makers magazine from uh, 1992. This is Captain Dick Reitman right there and his figure, the Old Salt. Uh, this figure here is, uh, that I have in this box is actually one of his uh, earlier versions of his Old Salt figure created by Chuck Jackson. We're going to unbox it and take a look at it. But before I do, I want to tell you the story about how Captain Dick uh, made me the ventriloquist I am today, or helped make me the ventriloquist I am today. You see, back in the early days, I did not have a lot of money, and I always wanted a ventriloquist figure. I wanted a ventriloquist figure since I was eight years old, and I saw a magician and a ventriloquist at my elementary school. I asked for a ventriloquist figure for Christmas, and I got, my grandmother bought me one of the Howdy Doody pull string Euro dummy. That was like the first figure I ever got. When I saw that figure, I was happy to have it, but I knew that this puppet that I had just received from my grandmother was not the same kind of puppet that the guy on stage was using because that puppet was alive. And this puppet looked like a piece of plastic with a string. So for years and years and years, I always dreamed of having a puppet. And of course, back then there, uh, when I was eight years old, there was no internet or anything like that. So I had no idea where you got a ventriloquist puppet or how to get one or how much they cost or anything. So. Later on in life, I, again, was still on my quest and for a ventriloquist dummy. I, at this point, there was somewhat of an internet, and I had gone on to the internet and found Craig Lovett's, Lovick's site, AmazingPuppets.com, and I had bought one of his knee pal or sidekick characters because I couldn't afford the knee pal, which was like the, the high level, the pro figure. So I got this uh, sidekick, which was a semi-pro figure because it was a lot cheaper. And when I got it, I was again disappointed because the figure had, you know, that figure had the eyes that were drawn on tubes. And as you pulled the uh, blinker lever down, the tubes just pulled down and had like an eyelid drawn on the top. And I was like, again, this did not resemble what I had in my mind, what I had seen when I was a kid. So I returned that to Craig uh, and I ended up buying other things from his catalog and at the time he was repping Axtell Expressions figures so I got a Vern the Bird, Bird Arm Illusion and a Magic Drawing Board and that were that was my first uh, real professional ventriloquist puppet, Vern the Bird and Magic Drawing Board. But I still wanted a real hard ventriloquist figure and that's where Captain Dick comes 